Professor Chiam, uh, friends and fellow citizens. We live in a multilingual environment. We are a multiracial country, so we have no choice but to use English as our working language. Firstly, because it's the only way to maintain unity in the country. But more important, it was a language that connected us to the world and thus has enabled us to make the kind of progress we now have achieved. Had we taken Chinese or Malay or Tamil, there would have been conflict within the country, as in Sri Lanka, and there would not have been today Singapore because we would not have connected to the world. So the reality is we have to have English as our master language, and next we must have our mother tongues. To identify ourselves, and since China is rising, also to take advantage of China's rise, if you have the Chinese language, to do business there. I'm convinced that multilingualism or bilingualism is possible, but not at the same level. One is the master language, the other is the second language. So when I watch Robin speak, I know his Chinese is his first language. But his English is also good because he spends six years in England. So he had total immersion at a young age. My Chinese, I had no total immersion. So it's a constant struggle to overcome one difficulty after another so that in the end I'm able to speak without much effort. I think if we arrange our education system, especially in kindergarten and preschool in such a way that our children are exposed to two languages straight away, we will make bilingualism a reality and easily achieved by all. Thank you very much.